Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and today, or rather yesterday when I'm filming this, Apple released iOS 10.3.3 Beta 4 to the public. Let's take a look at how large it was. It came in at 114.7 megabytes for me, and that's updating from Beta 3 on this particular phone. Let's take a look at the build number. You can see this is build 14G5053A, and basically there's not a whole lot new in this. And, and the reason I keep making these videos is so that you have some consistency and know what's in here. And I know there's not a lot new in this. Uh, Apple didn't mention anything in its notes as far as anything new, no changes. They just basically kept the same old notes and put a newer number on it. So with this particular beta, a lot of people are going to be wondering why Apple is even working on these betas. And that's because until iOS 11 is finalized and comes out in September, we're going to have 10.3.3, maybe even 10.3.4 before then. Uh, probably not, but we're not really sure at this point. And then we'll see only iOS 11. This is a pretty typical cycle in the way they do that. Now this update has been fine. It's fast. It's fluid. The previous version has good battery life, at least for me on the devices I'm using it on. Uh, this one I took my SIM card out of recently, but this one is really good battery life. I ask you as far as reports on that, and most of you say it's pretty good. And most of you that say I'm on 10.3.2 are looking forward to 10.3.3 to hopefully fix some battery life issues. So that's really it with this update. I didn't want to go into a whole lot of detail, but iOS 11 is looking really good. iOS 11 beta 2, that video came out yesterday and I'll post a link to that here as well. So we're looking forward to that, but this is running good. Everything's fast, fluid, and there's not a whole lot more to say other than that. I just wanted to be consistent and give you an update when there's an update, even if there's nothing in it. So let me know if you'd like to see more of these videos just for the updates, even if nothing's in it. And would you like to see an iOS 11 beta 2 follow up? Let me know in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.